Here in the city by the bay, we remember all too well the effects of the Costco Busan oil spill in 2007. Sadly, the Gulf of Mexico is experiencing a catastrophe at a much grander scale. State of Events Tobias Medina explains what efforts are taking place to deal with the disaster. Thousands of gallons of oil at this moment are gushing into the Gulf Stream. Corporate, private and government agencies are joining forces. They're trying to contain the BP oil spill, which is now the size of the state of Delaware. But at this point, things are not looking good. The oil spill began when a BP drilling rig caught fire and exploded on April 20th, killing 11 men. Two days later, the drilling rig sank. When it sank, it dragged the main oil pipe, known as the riser, down to the bottom of the sea, tearing and crumpling it. The accident caused three major breaks in the riser. Through these breaks, 5,000 gallons of crude oil are spewing into the Gulf of Mexico every day. Top officials believe the oil spill is still threatening to become the biggest ecological disaster in U.S. history. And, uh, certainly from my own perspective, having dealt with these for a long time, um, I'm frightened. Uh, this, is a, this is a very, very big thing and the uh, efforts that are going to be required to do anything about it, especially if it continues on, are, are just uh, mind-boggling. My administration will continue to use every single available resource at our disposal, including potentially the Department of Defense, to address the incident. Crude oil is already starting to lap up onto some of the outlying islands near the mouth of the Mississippi River. There are new concerns that the oil spill could flow into the Gulf Stream around the tip of Florida and extend up along the eastern seaboard. Drilling a second hole to stop the gushing oil is being considered, but that could take 90 days. Shorter term plans are in the works. In San Francisco, Tobias Medina reporting.